Facebook is live and YouTube YouTube is live so let us start the timer us meaning me let me start the timer here good afternoon 4.30 uh, in the afternoon on a Thursday start rolling the toe and heel switch to rolling the foot side to side. And toe and heel with the other leg. Trust you're having a lovely day. circles with the knee. Change direction. circles with the knee if you want to do your best Elvis Presley impersonation at this point in time please feel free uh, I won't change direction simply because it's very very bad uh -huh. um, yeah let's not go there Tuck the elbows in, raise one leg at a time. As you raise the leg, raise both hands and clench the fist, opening the fists at the bottom, clenching them at the top. down towards the right corner that's because that's where the timer is and it lets me keep track of how long I'm doing things for diagonal opposite arm and leg Raises. So your leg raises across the body and the opposite arm raises across the body. Take uh, the leg and the arm up to the front and then around to the side. side and then around to the front. Change 
change legs and on. Out to the front and around to the side. Out to the side and around. Surprise, surprise, to the front. And feet, so I'm just coming in a bit closer. Feet about shoulder width apart, waist, hips, circling. Trying to make it a circle rather than an oval. So forwards and backwards as well as side to side. Change direction. Relax the legs, bring the feet in a tiny bit, I guess. Uh, turn the waist, let the arms float around the body. Sitting down and backwards ever so slightly. Pelvis tucked under ever so slightly if you can. By the way, if you are new to my exercise sessions, hello, welcome. Uh, we breathe normally, and I recommend breathing, in and out through the nose, if you can. The waist doing the the majority of the work. And change. Here the legs are doing the majority of the work. The legs are bending and straightening, You're allowing that motion to go through the body, resulting in the relaxed arms and shoulders floating forwards and backwards. going. legs still doing the work but first one leg then the other straightening and bending pulsing up and down waist turning resulting in a diagonal movement in the arms that are still very very relaxed going.
upper body circles keeping the hips and lower body fairly still. Fairly small rotations to begin with. Nice and smooth. Change direction. Now, bigger circles, as far down and as far back and as far side to side as you can circle the body. change direction. Straighten up, bring the feet in, bend the legs slightly, sitting back slightly, diagonally sitting back if you want to be picky about it, circle the shoulders. Change direction. Circle the arms. Choose a speed that suits you. It can be faster than this, it can be slower than this. Entirely up to you. Just going to move slightly. Change direction. I just wanted to be slightly more in centre of camera for the next exercise mainly. Keeping the upper part of the arm still, rotate the forearms. Trying to bend the, well, trying to relax the legs and let them bend a little bit more, sitting back a little bit more, back and down. Change direction.
tuck the elbows in, keep the forearms still, rotate the hands. Change direction. Trying to go through as full a range of motion as you possibly can. Take the feet wide, arms out, bend down slightly, straighten out, breathe in as you come down, breathe out as you go up. You can come a little bit down, oh, sorry, let me show you. You can come a little bit down, you can come medium down, or you can go quite deep, entirely up to you. Keep going, breathing in, breathing out. The feet are pointed diagonally outwards, the legs, the knees rather, are also moving in and out diagonally, keeping the knees going in the same direction as the feet are pointing. Relax the hands down, bend the legs just a little, circle the arms. The hips are moving side to side, but the legs are moving diagonally, or the knees. So the knees are still staying pretty much in line with the feet. Change direction. The arms are slightly bent, ever so slightly bent. going up onto the chest, nod the head up and down, tucking the chin in, and then backwards with the head. Sorry, excuse me, something in my eye. Relaxing the legs a little bit more going. And really. 
relax for a moment while I dig my eye out. Okay, that's just over 20 minutes, coming up to 20 and a half minutes, and that is possibly the shortest single exercise routine that we've done. What I'm now going to do is 10 minutes or so of stretching. So I'd obviously advise you to join me for that, but if you want to stop now, have a lovely day. I'm going to sit down, put the soles of my feet together. Your knees may go there, your knees may go there. It just depends. Let the knees go wherever they want to go. Pull the feet in as near to your body as it is comfortable. Sit up straight and relax and let the legs stretch of their own accord. I say the legs, it's the groin that's really being stretched here. And as I say, if your feet are naturally, if your knees are naturally up high, that's fine, don't worry about it. That's just who you are. We're all different. Okay, take the feet out in front. Grab thighs or whatever they're called. <laughs> a complete brain fade. Or grab your toes. S trying to keep the back straight, bending, uh, not bending each part of the spine. Trying to keep the spine straight, just bending from the hips, kind of. And I'm just adjusting my posture there slightly. Keep going. It's quite all right if you can't if you can't bend forward, and I'm certainly not as flexible as I used to be. It's perfectly right just to be sitting up. You can even sit up and put your hands behind you just to push you forward ever so slightly. It's all about doing what works for you. And relax. Take. The feet out as far. Sorry, I'm going to shift. Ah, quickly shift over to the side so you can see both my feet. Okay, so you can now see both my feet. I've put my feet as wide as they comfortably want to go, putting my hands in front. And again, I'm sorry, I'm going to shift back a little bit so you can see what I do. Just going to hold it there. Gently going forwards and as I find that I can go forward I'm just going to creep my fingers forwards and then I'm going to kind of pretend I'm sticking my palms to the floor and I'm going to relax go forward a bit bring the hands forward a bit and eventually I get my hands pretty much as far forward as they can go and so I just stay there and relax and breathe and relax. And eventually you'll find you can go forward a little bit more. And you repeat the process. You breathe and you relax and you relax and you breathe. And eventually you can go a bit further forward. And gently, slowly relax, sit up, gently go from side to side. So my back is straight and I'm just bending side to side. And then I'm just going to reach out and you can grab your leg or your knee or your ankle. That's the word I was looking for before, I think, or your foot. And you grab it to begin with, with the hand that's the same side. You just pull yourself down towards there. And then you can bring, maybe if you can, the other hand across. So both hands are pulling. Just keep going. Gently, slowly release, go to the other side. The hand that's the same side, grab whatever you can grab. Hopefully you can grab your toes, but if not, don't worry about it. Grab the ankle or the knee, it's all okay. 
And then if you can, bring the other hand over. And relax. Okay, keep the feet where they are, maybe push them out a bit. This is about doing it slow and gentle. Put the hands to one side, put the hands towards the leg, put the hands towards the front, put the hands towards the other leg, put the hands towards the other side. Sit up, put the hands towards the side you just came from, to the leg, to the front. Slower is better than quickly. We're not trying to put too much pressure onto the muscles too quickly. We're not trying to take it off too quickly. Gently, 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 slowly, gently. Relax for a second. Slowly, gently, gently, gently. You may find as you keep doing this, you see that I'm doing, as I keep doing it, so my range of motion increases because my body is learning to relax and stretch. Take the feet out slightly. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And relax. I'm going to come over onto my front, which is really uncomfortable on a hard wooden floor. And I'm just going to push up a little bit, but I'm trying to elongate my spine. So I'm pushing up a little bit, trying to make the base of my spine longer. My feet also, are uh, the toes are pushing away, out. And relax. Slowly come to, I'll do this sideways. I'm not real good at this exercise, but it's a good one. Come to here, raise the back, lower the back. Raise the back, lower. Raise, bending the back, lowering the back. Tuck the head in as you raise the back. Straighten the head. Gently, slowly, take your time, get up, okay, circle the shoulders, nice and slow. Just coming into camera. Change direction with the shoulders, nice and slow. the legs, letting them bend. Taking the feet slightly wider, slightly more than shoulder width, circling the hips. Nice and gentle. Because when we're doing those stretches, the areas I find you might be different, but the areas I find that seem to uh, tense up are the shoulders and the small of the back. So we're just taking a couple of minutes to loosen them off, change direction. And 
hand relax. I'm just going to stop the time. Now I'll be back. As uh, famously, whoops, how you can stop the timer when you say stop the timer as well. Stop the timer. Marvellous little timer. Really happy with that. And it's free on Android, probably free on iPhone as well. Uh, thing called Tabata Timer. I'm always most happy to give it a shout. Uh, right, lovely, 30 odd minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, suggestions, please leave them uh, in the relevant comments box. I, 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 I will probably do an hour long session tomorrow. Um, part of the reason today's session was only 30 minutes, I'll be completely honest. Uh, I had a, a <laughs> I had a flu jab yesterday. Normally flu jabs don't affect me at all. But I also didn't eat very well yesterday. I, I didn't eat enough, I think. And so I had an interrupted night's sleep. At 3 a.m. I was having cereal because I was starving, hungry. Um, and that just, by the time I woke up and uh, just, uh, and I started my morning exercise, uh, went out and taught Tai Chi and I was okay, but not great. So the exercise session just got pushed back and back and back and I apologize for that. Uh, having said that, somebody joined my notification uh, system from Peru yesterday. And if you're watching this from Peru, hello. Uh, and Peru, I believe, is five hours behind us. So obviously the normal exercise sessions that I do in the morning would probably be too early. So this one actually, conveniently, maybe somebody in Peru is watching live. Um, who knows? I hope you'll have a lovely day and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you.